What's up, what's up, it's your main man, Really Reals. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please do me a favor. Hit that wonderful subscribe button. Also, like, share, and comment. We have another informative automotive video for you today. As you've seen from the title and the thumbnail, this is an early look of what could be the next generation of Z from Nissan. And I know that the Nissan Z fans have been waiting and waiting and patiently waiting for a new redesign to come down the pipeline. Well, today we got some insight on what you can expect from Nissan. For this video purposes, we're going to be calling this one the Nissan Proto, which is short for prototype. And the reason why it's called prototype instead of concept, because what you're seeing here is about 98% of what will actually come off the production floor. Now, it's not going to drop in 2021. You probably could look to see these hit the dealerships in 2022. And more likely than not, it's going to be called the 400Z. There are some early specs about this Nissan Z Proto. I don't have all the ins and outs, but maybe enough to hold you guys until we can get some more detail. The length of the car is going to be about 172.5 inches. The width is going to be about 72.8 inches. The height is going to be about 51.6 inches. The engine size is really still to be determined at this moment, but we do know more likely than not, it will be a twin turbo V6. Nissan hasn't released any power or torque numbers, but you can expect to see a six-speed manual transmission. I myself, I've always been a fan of the Nissan Z family. I've actually owned a 2006 Nissan 350Z. And when I say fun car, it was definitely a fun car. When it comes to modifications on these cars, you can go to the moon and back and still have room to do more. What I do like about this prototype is that it encompasses many aspects of all previous Z models. With that being said, let's get into some photos of the new Nissan Z Proto. Looking at the side view of the Nissan Z prototype, if you notice where the roof peaks, that's in resemblance to the current model Nissan 370Z. You can see that the Z maintains that classic long hood and rear wheel drive proportions. 19 inches in diameter, the prototype staggered wheels are reasonably sized and feature higher sidewalls that you can expect from a modern sports coupe. Now check out the very deliberate inclusion of a six-speed stick shift and the retention of a manual handbrake. If the pearlescent yellow Z Proto is looking kind of familiar to you, well, that's because of so many things um, that have been brought from previous Z models. Booking what feels like somewhat of overly large square grill opening or a set of LED peepers designed to invoke the original S30 Fairlady's iconic sugar scoop headlamps. Particularly, you know, the glass covered lights of the sought after Japanese market 270Z Jeep. Notice how the roof line peaks usually at its leading edge. You know, tapering off to the windshield, header on back. Just like today's 350Z, you know, that part pretty much looks the same. Now, on the back, the horizontal LED tail lamps echo the Z32 of the 90s. And this shows that the Z Proto basically is incorporating all of these historic design cues without seemingly overdoing a retro uh, type feel to it. Want to know what's underneath the bodywork? Let's see. As for what's underneath that bodywork, Nissan is the same. But sources indicate the platform is actually a close relative of the current car's unibody chassis. The 370Z has always been a strong and entertaining handler, but it's never been particularly refined, so to speak. Especially when it comes in terms of noise, vibration, and harshness. If the new Z is indeed similar to the old Z underneath, it would be interesting to see, you know, what sort of renovations, if any, might be necessary to bring the underlying architecture up to modern standards. Notably, crash test provisions. It also seems likely that the production Z's electrical system may need to be updated just to cope with not only the increased cabin technologies, but also whatever advanced driver assistance systems Nissan decides to make available in the Proto Z. Now, while the original S30 Fairlady Z featured straight six power now, Nissan doesn't presently have a suitable modern inline six engine. So it makes sense that a new car will feature V6 motivation. The current 370Z relies on a naturally aspirated 3.7 liter V6. But for the next generation model, the car is widely expected to downsize in displacement. Now they're thinking about adopting a version of Nissan's 3.0 liter twin turbo V6 that's found in the Infiniti Q60 Coupe. The engine is expected to try and target about 400 horsepower, hence the name what could possibly be 400Z. And if that comes to fruition, that 400 horsepower 
would be an amazing leap from the current 370Z, which is about 332 horsepower. And I know people, even though we haven't gotten this, so to speak, prototype yet, possibly a 400Z, you're probably already wondering about a Nismo edition or a higher trim level. Because the previous Nismo edition um, went with about 350 horses. So if your standard Z is going with 400 horses, what would the Nismo be? I haven't gotten that intel yet, but as soon as I do, of course, I'm going to come back and make an update video for you guys. Now, you need to expect the manual gearbox to be standard equipment on the new Z with a conventional paddle shift automatic gearbox. Now, you may say, hey, this Nissan Z Proto interior looks kind of familiar. But on the inside, the Proto's cabin is even more overtly modern than its candy coated shell. Okay, but that's largely a function of increased presence of screens. Not only is there a larger touchscreen infotainment display in the redesigned dashboard, there's also a 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster. Now, beyond that, there's a lot to be familiar with the Z Faithful. From the trio of analog gauges to top the dashboard, to the simple round climate controls and muscle shell shaped door handles. Now, if these do make it to production, I hope they're a little bit better than today's Z. So while incorporating new features and conveniences, it looks like Nissan's designers are telegraphing that the production Z will still be a driver's car first and foremost. And that's wonderful news for the Z family. We wanna talk about timeline and pricing? Well, the production 400Z is expected to be revealed sometime next year, but an actual on sale time frame remains a little hazy, as does the official pricing. It'll likely be 2022 before the Z actually hits the streets, so it's still kinda early in the process to be thinking about or talking about pricing. Now, it's worth remembering that today's sports car landscape has changed significantly since the 370Z was unveiled back in 2008. The Z's most natural rival will of course be the Toyota GR Supra. I followed perhaps by a V6 version of Detroit's Pony Cars. Now, if Nissan produces a lower power, lower cost iteration of the seventh generation Z, it could also perhaps rub shoulders with higher end versions of the Subaru BRZ and the Toyota 86 Twins, which are also due out about the same time. So, you know, based on several sources, it's likely to say that the ballpark of the Z price will start somewhere in the 30 grand range. Now, of course, that will be undercutting the Toyota GR Super. There will be an increase in price from today's surprisingly affordable base 370Z, which is about 31,000. Okay, to reflect the new model's additional power and equipment, that's where your price is gonna increase at. With that said, Nissan is expected to start maybe shy of the Nissan uh, Nismo Z's 46715 window sticker currently. So a starting price I would say in a neighborhood of 38,000 to 39,000 sounds about right. Now that would make the Z something of a value play next to the automatic only GR Supra, which is about 44,000 delivered. And maybe some of you are possibly saying, hey, is there, where is that Nismo now? Or where is that Roadster version? There have only been a few rumors about the Nismo version of the new Nissan 400Z Proto. Of course, with that model, you're talking different engines, uh, more horsepower, larger torque. So I guess we have to get this first model out first in order to see what the potential increase could be. I wouldn't think too large on looking at a Roadster or looking for a Roadster right now. Um, it's not even enough uh, rumors under the rug to really, you know, think about that right now. So if things start ramping up, I'll definitely do more updates for you on the Nissan Proto potential Roadster or potential Nismo. Well, this has been another informative automotive video. I know the Nissan family is happy right now. They're excited about being able to get a new refresh. Um, like I said, guys, looking at the pictures of the Z, you notice the rear uh, models, the 90 version. You look at the front, which models the original. You looking at the side view that models the current. So they're playing all of these uh, aspects into the new potential 400Z Proto. And as I said before, this is more than likely 98% of what will actually meet production. So if it comes looking like this, I definitely can't wait to see it and get my hands on one for an in-person review. This has been another informative automotive video. I'm your main man, Rally Rails. As always, remember, always 100, always solid.